Welcome to Cooking with JJ. Today I'm making a hearty beef chili stew. For your ingredients, you need some beans, tomatoes, kidney beans, sweet pepper, chili pepper, beef, minced beef. The full list is below. Let's start off with some minced beef. You're gonna cook this in some olive oil. You're using a fork, or if you have one of these things that I found in the store, you can use it to get some more shell of beef as a cooker. You know, usually you make this cooking clumpy, this prevents that. To that, you'll add one cup of chili seasoning, or if you don't have chili seasoning, you can use a taco mix. Mix it in. Once that's mixed in, this is what it will look like. And this looks like it's gonna taste good already. So you lower the flame and just allow it to simmer. Add your onions, sweet pepper, and a scotch bonnet pepper. Mix that in and just allow it to simmer for about three minutes. Because we really wanna maintain the texture of the vegetables. All right, so now it's time to add our other ingredients. Start off with your can of tomatoes, one can of baked beans, one can of red peas, rinse, and then you just combine. Usually I like to add like a half a can of black beans, but I didn't have any, so I just stuck with this and it turned out really yummy. Look how colorful that is already, like it is so delicious. Here I'm adding one can, one eight ounce can of tomato sauce, combine and just allow it to simmer for about five minutes. Then we're gonna add the chili powder, garlic powder, and some salt. Once those are added, you just combine, cover it up, and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes maximum. Because remember, we're adding all cooked ingredients, so we're just really combining flavors at this point. Once it's done, add your chopped scallion and just stir it in because you know. It's kind of easy to cook, so we just stir it in and allow the flavors to vibe. What a vibe. And there you have it. 30 45 minutes max. You will have some nice beef, beef chili. You can have it alone, add a little cheese on top. I chose to have mine with some fluffy white rice, and it was delicious. Go ahead, enjoy.